Hello, and welcome to Piano Player Pro, your favourite classical tunes arranged for piano. Today, we're going to be playing Fur Elise by Beethoven. The story goes that he dedicated this piano bagatelle to a girl that he'd hoped to marry called Teresa. However, she turned him down, and the piece was only discovered and then published after his death. But sadly, the original publisher misread Beethoven's terrible handwriting, and he thought that the dedication was to a girl called Elise rather than Teresa. So the name for Elise stuck forever. If you haven't already, then follow the link below and head over to the website pianoplayerpro.com where you can find the sheet music which is free to download. And while you're there, make sure you check out what other pieces you can learn. I'm regularly adding new pieces and content, so if you find this video helpful, then please hit the subscribe button below. In total, there are four piano arrangements of Fur Elise for you to choose from, starting with level one and then getting progressively more difficult all the way up to level four. This video is for the level one version, so just for the right hand, but feel free to take a look at the others. We're going to start by playing the piece all the way through once and then we're going to go back and look at the A section, the B section and the C section separately. So here we go, um, it starts quite high up, so just to show you where we're beginning from, there's middle C, Here's C an octave higher, and it starts C, D, E, it starts on this E, and I'm going to begin with my fourth finger, which I'll talk about in a minute. So here it is from the beginning for release, level one. Okay, so that's the piece once through. We're now going to look at it um, level by or stage by stage or section by section, starting with the A section. So as I said, it starts high up here on the E and you're going to start using four and three. The reason is you could start on five, but five to four, these are quite weak fingers. So doing that smoothly is not so easy. So I'm going to use the four and the three and it's the four on the E and the three on the D sharp, the black note. So one, two, Three. So you come back to that E three times, once, twice, three times. You've got to count it quite carefully. And then you carry on with B, D, C, and then you just stretch your thumb down to the A. Okay, so watch that again. And your aim is to get that as smooth as possible. It might help to think of it in kind of blocks. And then this block, and then the final note. But when you play it and practice it, you want to get it going through smoothly, like that. And then you hold the A for two beats, one, two, and then another note for one beat, B for two, and then C for two, okay? So the first line sounds something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, Two. And then you stretch up and then you do exactly the same thing again. Back to the A for two, B, two, three, and then this time instead of going up like you did before, you go down. So that's the only change between the first time you hear it and the second time. The first time it's the second time it's A, A, B, B, back to A. Okay, so let's hear the A section all the way through from the beginning. Here we go. Good, so you've just got to be careful when you've got those minims um, not to rush them. Yeah, you're used to playing the quavers, which are much quicker. So remember, there's four quavers are equal to one minim. So if you're going da 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 da, it's da 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just don't rush those, and that'll sound nice. Okay, the B section then. You've just finished here. 
So your thumb on the A, you're going to go on to the B, B, C, D, and that leads then into bar 10. So the B section actually starts before bar 10, these three leading notes or um, upbeats. And I'm suggesting that you move your thumb from the A, you've got a little rest there, so use that rest to move your thumb from the A to the B, so you can go straight up in this new hand position. Just one, two, three, four, which lands you on the beginning of bar 10 on an E. And you again hold that for two beats. So it goes like this. One, two, and then you've got this nice pattern coming down. So you go F, E, D, so quaver, quaver, minim, and then the same pattern coming down, quaver, quaver, minim, same pattern again, quaver, quaver, minim. So da, 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 da. So it's the same pattern three times in a row. It's called a sequence, doing exactly the same thing, the same rhythm, the same shape, just moving gradually down the keyboard. Okay, so let's try that all again. That's the whole B section. So you've moved your hand, so your thumb is now on B. Here we go. One, two, quaver to minim, quaver to minim, quaver to minim. Okay, and then you're ready to start the C section. Now the C section is very, very similar to the A section. The only difference is the, there's an extra bar added, an extra bar of this. So you've now got, if you count them up, you've got one in bar um, 13, and then three more in bar 14, and then one in more in bar 15. So you've got to count to five before you move on to that, okay? So count that carefully. So you've just done this in bar, um, bar 10, 11, and 12. really carefully but then once you've done that this is exactly the same as it was before and the last line and it does get a little bit confusing because you've just got to count carefully keep concentrating because even though you're doing the same notes over and over again you can forget how many times you've done them so let's go all the way through and hear that from beginning to end get your hand in position okay it all is taking place in this kind of top part of the keyboard so here we go starting on four and three um, here is the full performance of level one version of Fur Release. So that was the level one version of Beethoven's Fur Elise. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you have, then please hit the subscribe button below as there's new pieces for you to learn coming out all the time. And remember, the music for all of them is free to download from the website pianoplayerpro.com. If you've got any questions or requests for future pieces, then do please get in touch via the comments section below. Have a great day then and happy practicing.